Hello Linux fans, welcome to another episode of Distro Flash, where we take a look at beta releases, point releases, and sometimes just unknown distros in five minutes or less. Now in order to make this happen, I have these installed within boxes, and today we're going to take a look at backslash Linux GNOME Edition. So uh, this is a beta 2 release, and we're going to launch into the installer here. Now I bring up the installer to show you this large yellow start here button. That's there for a reason, so we're going to double click that. And the developer wants you to know, do expect bugs and please report them. Um, also, there is no support for PPAs currently, but that is being worked on. And you cannot install the system from live mode. You have to go back into the boot menu and select the boot system installer. So um, with that said, let's just take a look at some of the things that are going on within the UI. We're going to go full screen here. So again, this is the GNOME or GNOME, if you prefer, desktop environment, but it has been themed and tweaked as you can see here. You've got a full panel that looks like your more traditional OS. Uh, however, you do launch into the full screen touch friendly uh, launcher here, application launcher, and you'll notice also a very high quality set of icons that do apply very well uh, within the GNOME desktop environment. I believe it's called El Captain or El Capitine. I'll have to go back and double check that. You'll also see this same icon set within backslash Linux Elsa. Um, Alright, so let's jump out of this real quick and I just want to point out the system tray icons here. I like this overall white design for the system tray icons. They maintain a a good uh, aspect ratio. They're pretty well all the same size. Nothing's looking um, out of place here. This is for system information. Uh, here you've got one for touchpad settings as well as screenshot tool all in place there. And here you can launch into uh, log out, uh, power off, as well as settings. So let's look in settings here and we'll take a quick look at details. So this is based off of Ubuntu 17.04. Now I believe again this is currently the GNOME Desktop 3.20, but there is an update here. So we're going to go ahead and take a quick look at system updates within the software manager. And I believe within this update you'll find that you uh, move up to the 3.22 GNOME Desktop environment. So there are currently four updates here. So you see to the calendar 3.22, uh, GNOME Web, which is the simple web browser. We'll take a quick look at that as well, so within those system updates. Now for the file manager, you're going to find it's your typical GNOME uh, file manager here. And this is version 3.20. Perfectly capable, um, you know, simple file manager. Zoom in, zoom out on the icons. Uh, all of the basic sort functions, um, you know, you can open additional windows, uh, add favorites, so on and so forth. Perfectly capable. Now this is a fairly minimal install, not that you would want to use this as a daily driver or anything. Again, it is a beta 2 release. Let's take a look at the web browser and you'll notice here this is very Mac themed, even with the Windows controls here. Although they, uh, they are on the right as opposed to the left, which I appreciate. Uh, this is web, again, this is going to be 3. Oh, okay, this is currently 3.22, but it lends itself, it's a very clean interface, and lends itself very well to the rest of the UI, which is a very clean interface overall. So, again, beta release software here, um, not for a daily driver at this point. Uh, if you're currently running backslash Linux, I think this would be a nice option here as far as uh, maybe you're looking for a change in desktop environment. So let's take a look at the backgrounds that are available here. Looks like your typical known backgrounds at this point. Nothing, uh, well maybe maybe there are a few new additions here in wallpapers, but again nothing to get hung up on. So we'll cancel out of there. So overall I think uh, this is going to be a nice addition to the backslash Linux series and just wanted to give everyone a quick look. Hope this helps and we will check you later.